hello everyone more so hi to the ladies my name is Ntabi. if you are new here welcome to my channel so i'm starting off on freshly washed hair and i have already parted my hair into two sections we will be starting with the back section as per usual i start off by spritzing my hair with water breaking on damp hair just minimizes breakage and pain so just dampen your hair sis. it helps a lot After detangling the hair, I went in with my gel and gel wax. I used both sparingly. The aim is just to be able to tie the hair down. So these are the wick caps I'll be using for the foundation. Each pack comes with two wick caps inside and they retailed for 10 Rand at a local beauty supply store. To hold these in position, I used my Styling Dress Holding Spritz. You can use a holding spray of your choice or you can even sew them on if you please. However, sewing the wig caps on would obviously require cornrows as the foundation. So make sure you spritz along the parameters and within the section you will be gluing your tracks on. And once you're done, dry the area off using your hair dryer. It doesn't really matter if it's hot or cold. Also, if there's any excess spritz on your nape, you can easily wipe that off with water or oil. It's really not a train smash. The main ingredients used in the bonding glue I'll be using are latex and rubber. So should you get any of the glue on your hair, you can use oil and it'll be easily removed. And if you get any on your fingers like I did, you can literally just rub your fingers together and it will move. The hair I'm using is by Magic. A pack comes with six bundles and they are enough for a full head. I used the 222 inches and the 24 inches at the back and the 20 inches were used for the front buns. The hair is synthetic, the quality was not that bad and I believe this retailed for less than 100 rand. I think it was that cheap because I purchased it from a wholesaler. The only issue I had with the hair was the wefts. They were quite thin so I ended up doubling all the 22 and 24 inches in an attempt to make them thicker which made it easier to glue them onto my head. So the application process is quite repetitive and straightforward. All you do is measure the width needed. You cut the weft, you apply the glue onto the weft and then you use your hair dryer to get the glue tacky. It usually turns black like once it's tacky. You then place the weft onto your head in a C or U-like shape and dry it into position with your hair dryer. And that's literally all you do until you get to the top. For the front section, I spritzed my hair with water and then I moisturized it. Please don't forget to moisturize your hair. I went on to part the hair into two sections and I used my Styling Dreads Gel Wax to help achieve a well-defined line. To lay my hair, I first went in with my gel and then I went in with my gel wax. Ooh. 
Before tying the hair into knots, I sectioned out some hair for the edges. It's always best you do that before tying all the hair in to avoid breakage. To create my edges I used my gel and my molding wax and after that I went in with the got to be ultra glued styling gel for extra hold. If you want the front section to last longer you can go in with your holding spritz once you're done creating your edges. I laid my hair for a few minutes and once the hair was dry, I went on to attach the last 20 inch bundles to the front sections. All you do is start attaching from the top to the base and then wrap the last part around that base. I honestly hope I'm making sense but everything is self-explanatory as you watch. To further secure the bun, you can use a bobby pin. And that's about it. I did the same on the other side and the look is complete. I'm currently out of oil sheen, but don't forget to add oil sheen for that nice final touch. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, simply leave all of that in the comment section below and I will answer you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. We have grown immensely within the past seven months, literally within my absence. And I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And this time I'm back for good. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.